now my friend, he has uh, decided he wants to use this heater. So I thought, well, we'll use this opportunity to take it apart and look at the weird ECU that's in it. And I thought we'd make it safe as well and maybe connect up the earth to actual the chassis of it. And then once we've done that, we'll go and have a look at the Webastard row and how it's running and some of the code changes that I've made. So first things first, let's take this one apart. Hey, actually what's nice about this heater is I don't actually have to take the whole heater out to get it open because of the way that it's made in two halves. Nuts and bolts to come out, that's going to fall out the bottom isn't it though, that's, a, that's the only thing though is that is a captive nut. Oh, well, well captive, what's the opposite of captive? Uh, what is it captive when it's not captive? It's just a nut and a bolt then isn't it, yeah. So that, three nutty bolty things gets us uh, inside. And we should be able to just uh, manhandle it off the thing without taking all the ends off. Now as somebody, have you pointed out, this probably, come off, isn't aluminium. This is probably zinc or magnesium because it's cheaper. And I said, is there a, can you use acid to test if it's one or another? Anyway, we don't have acid, so we won't be testing anything. But what we can do is, would this be better the other way around, so the fuel tank is not in my way? Yes. Let's spin it. Or is it just the fuel tank? Can we just move the fuel tank around a bit without having an Exxon Valdez uh, type spillage here? Yes. Right. Let's take the fuel tank, not fuel tank, uh, ECU out. Oh, where are there? They are. Lost my. Oh, uh, please don't be the one that's missing out the set. Hopefully not. Should be this one. Nice. Man, that's in there tight. Let's go into the brain box. So, everything else about this here is fairly standard. Standard looking motor. There's nothing exciting really about it. It's the weird fact that it will run on 12 or 24 volts and it decides. Because everyone out there keeps saying, oh, my heater does the same thing. You just press the things in the menu and tell it if it's 12 or 24 volts. Do it. I dare you. I, I dare you to go and buy a 12 volt heater, set the ECU to 24 volts and plug it into 24 volts. Come back and tell me what happens. And conversely, if you do it the other way though, if you buy a 24 volt heater, tell it it's 12, it just doesn't work either, it doesn't, it doesn't run. So, wow, that was the loosest glow plug connection I've ever seen, it just pinged right off, that's great. Right, that comes off, fan motor, and then the ECU is just the plug down here. So, let us unplug the plug, and I will bring it over so you can look at it. <sighs> Ooh, this one says Super Version 5.2. Okay, here is the back of the ECU. We'll call it ECU. The back of the ECU. We'll call this the back. A uh, couple of large capacitors there. What voltage rating are they? Can we see them? 63 volts on the capacitors. Big. Uh, that is a, I know it's a toroidal shape, but is it a. Ooh, I know. Let's take this off the board and have a look at the other side of it. Oh wait, there are numbers. Can I, can I read out the said numbers? Uh, this is an M MDD MBR 30100CT, it's marked 27 amps, and the other one I cannot see because it's deep inside. Perhaps it's two of them. Hopefully. Someone is watching, someone who's very excited and knows what all of those bits are. I'm going to need that screw later. And we'll be able to tell us exactly how this is doing the 12, 24 volt magic switching between those two voltages and knowing about them. Because it's all very well people saying, like, oh, my heater does the same thing, you just tell it's 12 or 24. But this one you don't tell. You give it 12 
or 24 and it shows you in the display that it's 12 or 24 and it just it runs it runs quite happily it doesn't seem to care what voltage uh, if i can manage to untuck the uh, fan speed sensor from behind this little bit of plastic here without bending it too badly come on now come on here we go right we have unfangled it so here is the other side of the board let me try and get this mostly in can't do the right shots there. Does that make sense? I'm going to leave that there for a second. Let people get perhaps a screen grab. And on there, there is absolutely nothing that jumps out at me. I don't ah, uh, I don't have another ECU here out the box because the big box is uh, it's away in the uh, other storage because so many heaters and so many ECUs. There's none lying about in here. Shame. Right. Okay. Well, that was what we came to see was the magic of it. And I wonder if it's them. I wonder if it's those two. Are they voltage regulators? Is that two voltage regulators? Yeah, but they're they so why would you have two voltage regulators? Because it knows it's not taking 24 volts and bringing it down to 12. On the ECU, except it is, because it's given nothing else 12. 12 volt water, I can see it says 12 volts on it. 12 volt fuel pump, because it's a 12 volt fuel pump. And everything else in the glow plug must be 12 volts, because if it was 24 volts, the 10 volts that it would get is not enough to heat it up. So I'm hoping that people will now comment in the comment section about how this is doing, what it's doing. And out of interest, I'm also going to plug it back in and kind of turn the voltage up on this and see if it will run at like in between voltage in between 12 and 24 will it do 18 volts like off a Makita battery we can simulate that with the power supply right I'm going to put all this back together now okay I can confirm this thing gives absolutely zero fucks as to what voltage ah oh, come on camera play the game here we are 17.2 volts. Okay, granted it says 18 on the power supply. 18 the power supply, but 17.2 at this end. Yeah, it, it just doesn't, it absolutely does not care what voltage you give it. 17.2 volts. So this, this here would run absolutely spectacularly off a power tool battery. From anywhere between 12 and 24 volts. Oh, and my heater still works, by the way. It's, it's uh, spinning along right now. The glow plugs should be just about finished glowing. And uh, I'm about to get smoked to death, I imagine. Oh, there it goes. It has lit. Yep, 17 volts. Doesn't care. I'm going to wait for the glow plug to uh, glow out and then see if the voltage just changes to the full 18. There we go, the glow plug went out and it kind of briefly went up to the full 18 volts but it brought it back down to 17.7 again. Meh. Right, let's make this marginally safer by uh, taking out this flex. Right, we'll take this flex out of here and uh, put some terminals on the end of them and on the earth and then connect the earth to the chassis okay we have got the live uh, power mains power sorry coming in here we've got, now we've got three actual terminals screw it of the you know the y-shaped ones that go under the prongs the prongs go under the screws they all screw down so we've got live neutral on earth let's do a test beep beep beep, beep. Beep, 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 great. Uh, so, like, uh, live. Neutral even. Neutral. Live. Live and earth to earth pin. Also earth to case. Earth to case, earth to heater. Yes, but not to that too. Not to those ones. 
My deal. Right, good. So we've got other than just now. I don't think they'll be. No, they should be isolated. All right, everything is metal. It's connected to earth the way it should be. That feels a lot safer. Now I shall button it back up and then we shall go and move on to the Webastardo. Let's go. Right, please forgive me. The Webastardo has been relegated over to the other bench where we have the big water tank full of, well, not full. It's got 15 litres of water in it. The Webastardo, he's there. Uh, on my second board. So if you recall, let me zoom you in. So last time I ran it, ran it, run it, ran it. I had a problem with the uh, MOSFET driving the glow plug, which is this little um, charred boy here with the plastic and the melted bits, which is that one. It uh, got so hot that it melted itself off of the board. And I did try to repair the board and put another one on, but I don't know if I must have damaged the track or soldered like two tracks together at the same time. But what I ended up with was a constantly on glow plug. Now, very thank you very much to other David who suggested using one of these. This is a hotbed controller for a 3D printer. So basically, 12 volt straight power comes in one side. You connect your glow plug or your hotbed off to the other side and then you just use the two trigger wires connected to where your output used to be. So basically, when the MOSFET on here drives the glow plug, it's not driving the glow plug, it just drives the output into this other board, which has got a massive 30 amp MOSFET on it, and then it drives the voltage to the glow plug. So now, no more melting MOSFETs, and should we melt this one, we just take this board off, throw it away, put another board on. But I've started up and shut it down a couple of times now, and this boat, it just gets warm. There's no actual any uh, real heat coming off it, unlike that one, which got red hot. So I don't know what I've done to the other board, but I think it's for the bin. Thankfully, they are cheap. Now, let me reconnect uh, some power here. I think it was just this one. Did I just, was it just this one? Okay. It's alive! So it's doing its thing where it's started up and it'll now run the internal fan for one minute to let you know that it's running. Now if I fire up OBS and we will fire up the serial monitor, board is not available, yeah because it's not plugged in. Let's try that again. Right, so there it is currently doing nothing. Water temperature and exhaust temperature are the same. Now let's uh, connect up the trigger wire. Triggering here. Trigger wire. Close got to one. Hopefully you can see on there the red light that shows the output driver is driving. Dun 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 And then we will get firing up. Hopefully the exhaust temperature will now go up the way. There it goes. So the exhaust is burning. <sighs> a lot about a smoky start. <laughs> that could be ironed out. <laughs> I might have gone a bit rich with the uh, initial fueling. But what I'm trying to do now is get the output of the heater as hot as I can. So, glow plug's gone back out, you see the red light's gone out, so now the glow plug is no longer being driven. And it will hose in as much fuel as I get it to give, and as much fan speed. So the version of the code that we are running, or this is my, I'm running at the moment for my test, is, I've called it, uh, AWH SAM21 hot tub for a viewer and commenter as a <laughs> trying to power his hot tub or he rather heat his hot tub with a Webasto thermotop and he's got one of these boards is it one of these boards or one similar like it running the 
Adafruit, and basically we're trying to together get the Bobasto running as hot and as hard as it can without killing itself. So I've changed in this, well, if you go on Bitbucket you'll be able to exactly see which code I've changed and when. Basically we're turning the fuel up, I've kept the fan at 90 because I don't really want to push the fan motor knees too hard because they have a tendency to die a lot. Uh, so we're going for 3 hertz, 2 hertz, and then just 0 0.8 and 0 0.5 for diddling along. Now the other bit that you have to change uh, I have to try and remember where it is, is the one where it's the exhaust temperature that it uses. Uh, I can't remember, is it get Vasto temp? One of them. There's a temperature somewhere for the exhaust temperature, and it's set rather conservatively low. Uh, well, if only I had like, access to Bitbucket just now, I could just... Go and look at bit bucket. Hold on, let me just uh, do that right now. Uh, heater. Do, 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 do. And we want the hot tub. Oh, look, I did it yesterday. Right, show me my commits. Uh, where is that one? Do, 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 do. Oh, it must be a running ratio. Is that it? Yes. So in running ratio, I know, uh, I changed the exhaust temperature. Uh, it might not have been at 300. It might have been even less than 300 before I've modified it. It's now bumped up to 350. And in Bobasto, I just took the very... The over... T over... Oh. The over temperature exhaust mode, I took it up to 450, so if it gets to 450, things have gone catastrophically wrong and just kill the heater. But, before it does that, it should get to 350 and then throttle back. So that was the two I modified, Wabasto and running ratio. And, yeah, so, Bitbucket and Source Tree. Uh, Source Tree is like the PC version, and it keeps all your code synchronised with the stuff that's stored on the internet so when you make changes or I make changes it should download it for you and then you can apply it right back to what we're saying so let's say uh, yeah those things turned up oh that's so it's way down here uh, exhaust temperatures down the middle somewhere near the bottom oh, I can't remember it's definitely in here somewhere there's an if and therefore Oh, it's in here somewhere. Man, it took me ages to find it last time. And I've shown you where it is. You'll just have to think about it in the code by yourself. Not through here. Increase the fueling, increase the fan, made it burn hotter and better, hopefully. And, well, we've seen on the board now. Right. And the modif only modification I've made to the board so far is to add in that other controller module that takes the heat off the MOSFET for the glow plug. Right, the footage you're seeing just now is from the Inferi uh, module thing that sticks at the bottom of a smart uh, phone that they sent us. Uh, just Android smartphones at the moment because it's just a USB. But I got them to send one with the clip on macro lens so you can get right in at component level on the boards and see which of your components are running hot or running hotter than the rest. Yeah, I think in this we can see there's like a diode that's running hotter than the rest and uh, the fan, is it the fan? No, it's the water pump MOSFET is running slightly warm. I could probably do with a little bit of cooling, but we'll do a proper in-depth uh, review test on the Infrared uh, P, P10, P something other probe thing, uh, the thermal camera that plugs in the bottom of your phone. We'll do a full review comparison of that in the future. We're just playing with it on this board just now. Right, I think that wraps it up for today. We we're just gonna, we've done the thing where we've put the heater into safer mode with the earth connections and proper spade connections, made sure that's safe for my friend. We've had a look at the Webaster door and the code. We've done all those things. Any comments, questions, etc, etc, leave them down below and we'll 
I'll answer them or we'll cover them in a future video because that seems to be a thing that happens now. As always, thanks for watching. Thank <laughs> you.